Welcome to CP101 and this is a project, uh, another restoration project that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this is the Ravel uh, Superman. Uh, this was done a long time ago, probably 25, 30 years ago. Um, I decided I wasn't even going to go with the real colors that uh, Superman had uh, back then. so. I wasn't worried about trying to get it looking like George Reed's uh, because of that goofy looking head. So one of the first things we need to do is uh, take them apart and put them in the uh, super clean. We've got a Superman stripped of paint. I didn't have enough room to put everything in my container so I did Superman first then I threw the base in there a second and I don't even know if I'm going to use the base. I've been thinking about making a brand new base, my own design. So uh, I don't know if we're even going to use that old base, but I put it in a super clean just to strip it. So if I decide to go ahead and stick with the original base, then it'll be all set to go and ready for a fresh coat of paint. But uh, we've got the cape uh, cleaned up. we got the upper half stripped of paint. And uh, I broke. I took them apart at the waist so I could work at sub assemblies. And then we got the bottom half primered. And now I'm going back to see where I need to do work. And I need to do a ton of work on the legs because I missed a ton of areas the first time around. <clears throat> I can't believe I missed that much, but I did. So we're getting all that fixed up using uh, a, a glazing putty. This side's not too bad. Uh, primer filled some of the areas so I don't think I have to do anything over here on this leg on his right leg but his left leg was really really bad so uh, we're, we're getting all that uh, straightened out we got the belt we need to straighten out we got some horrible seams on the belt belt buckle is uh, offset one side's larger than the other so I have to even that out uh, originally it was round but in order for me to even this out I'm gonna have to make it more of an oval but um, It'll be alright. And then we need to do the same work on the trunks. And then I think the lower half will be ready for another coat of primer. And we'll see how it looks and go from there. If it looks okay, then we'll start on the upper half and get the upper half all straightened up. So that's uh, Superman himself. And then the head. Uh, the head was, I've been spending three days on the head. Uh, that's where all the work is needed on this kit. The head that Ravel gives you is really, really, really bad. It's really messed up. I don't know who was working at Ravel at the time that decided to make him look really stupid, but they did. So at first I was just going to not even dick with his head and get a replacement head. But the more I looked at the head, the more I thought, why not take what I was given and change it to what I like? Because for me anyway, that's the whole fun of modeling, is to be taking what you were given in a kit and change it either for the better or something unique or both. So I thought, why not um, see what I can do with the original head? Because I don't have anything to lose. If I screw it up, then I just get a replacement head. So thankfully, this kit is really thick plastic, so it gives me a lot of plastic to work with. So I looked at the head thinking, what is all the key areas that's wrong with this head and the first thing I noticed right away is that whoever sculpted the new head for Superman gave him a pumpkin head his head was completely round and that's uh, you know that's one reason why he looked kind of stupid is because of the pumpkin head so first thing I wanted to do was to reshape the jawline because it was the jawline that's given him that pumpkin head look uh, somebody way overemphasized the jawline to the point where it just looks stupid. So I thinned down the jawline. I took a ton off of that jawline because what I was aiming for was to get his head more egg shaped than pumpkin shaped. Uh, egg shaped is more of a pleasing look to the eye when it comes to faces. And uh, so I set about trying to get that his head to be more egg shaped. So I took a ton off the, the jawline. Um, the nose was way too wide. Um, I don't know what they were thinking on that nose. So I thinned the nose way down. I took a lot off that nose, off the sides, 
I took a little bit off the uh, bridge, but the nostrils I took a ton off because they got his nostrils way wide. Uh, the eyebrows were way too high, way too arched, so I completely removed the eyebrows and I penciled in eyebrows to give me a reference. Uh, when I go to uh, put the flesh tone on, I'll pencil the eyebrows in again for reference and just paint over the eyebrows. But I did leave the front part of the eyebrows on because it gives them a bit of a frown, like he's uh, kind of pissed off, and I actually like that. So we're going to leave only the front part to make it look like he's kind of frowning. So. Uh, and the eyebrow will be below that, but his original eyebrows were arched and uh, way too high up on the head, in my opinion, so we changed that. Next thing I did was I gave him a haircut. They had the hair uh, on top of his ears, so it looked like he didn't have any ears. So I gave him a haircut and brought the ears out, and now Superman finally has some ears that you can see. So uh, that uh, improved the look as well. And then the uh, other thing I did was Superman had this big divot on the top of his head. They gave him this weird hairstyle that created this divot. And uh, that also made the head look really wide on top. <clears throat> so I got rid of that divot. I Basically, I filled it in using the sculpting uh, putty. And I have to wait another day before I can screw with it. But uh, that uh, also helped with making his overall shape of his head more egg-shaped by uh, adding to the top of the hair so um, I added a part a bit of a part to the side here and uh, filled in that huge divot and uh, I think he looks a ton better I can live with this face uh, I could take more off the jaw but I think I'm going to just leave it because all the comic books and I'm talking comic books I'm not talking any TV show or anything or a movie uh, all the comic books, he usually had a really strong jawline. I always drew him as such. So um, even though I could thin that jawline down some more, I'm, I'm going to leave it a little on the strong side. But now I don't think it looks as stupid as it did originally. Uh, so that, um, yeah, I'm happy with the head. Uh, I never thought in a million years I could uh, make it look uh, presentable because it was pretty bad. But... Just a lot of sand, three days worth of sanding, and uh, we've got the head looking decent. So that is um, Superman's head. And I'll put a picture up before and after, before when it was painted, then now you can see the difference. Uh, it might not look different, but um, when you see the before and after, you'll see a huge difference in the uh, head. So that is Superman. That's what I've been working on for three days straight. Um, so that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm, you know, uh, still worth sorting out the details for the base. If I decide to go with a brand new base, I'll have to go to Michael's and get a few things. I mean, a wooden plaque for the new base. And uh, but I think if I can. Uh, pull off the new base. I think it'll be pretty cool. I think it'll be more befitting for Superman anyway than uh, I mean the busting through the wall was pretty cool, but uh, I think my idea would be uh, different and uh, more in line with what we all know and recognize uh, with Superman. So yeah, I think it'll be pretty cool if I can do it. All right, guys, that's it. Um, that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. All right. Take care. We'll see you in the next update on Superman.